What is wrong with this lady's spine? Today's Sunday case study, I have a 67 year old female who presents to my office with back pain. She says that she was turning around in her car to grab something out of the back seat and felt something pop in her back. It was a knife-like pain and she cannot get comfortable. She also has began to develop some radiating pain down her legs. The pain became so bad that she even contemplated calling the ambulance. Now her past medical history is relevant for being a smoker one pack a day for the past 40 years and she's also developed COPD and is on inhalers. Her past surgical history is that she had a hysterectomy when she was really young in her late 30s including her ovaries being removed. I got an x-ray in the office but as soon as I saw the x-ray I sent her for a stat CT scan and this is what it showed. So what's the diagnosis and treatment, but also what are her risk factors for developing this problem? Stay tuned tomorrow and I'll go through the whole case. Let's go through the answer to the case study of the 67 year old female with a CAT scan that showed this. Remember I said that she was in her car and she literally just twisted to grab something out of the backseat of her car and felt a sudden pain in her back. The pain was so severe that she almost called an ambulance due to the amount of pain. However, she was able to call and get an appointment in my office where an x-ray was performed and subsequently a CAT scan. Now, this is the findings that we see on the CT and what we see here is a normal vertebral body which is shaped like a square and then this one which is completely squished or pinched down. Why is that? She suffered what's called a vertebral compression fracture which is extremely common in people with osteoporosis. What's osteoporosis? Osteoporosis happens when our bones become less mineralized. Here we see a picture of what normal bone density should look like. And then here we see what osteoporotic bone looks like. Osteoporosis is extremely common in women. And here you see pictures that kind of show how a woman's sagittal balance can become affected as she develops osteoporosis. So the diagnosis is a vertebral compression fracture secondary to osteoporosis. Now, what are her risk factors for developing osteoporosis? And I mentioned many. Number one, she is a woman and women are significantly more at risk to develop osteoporosis than men. Number two, I mentioned that she's a smoker. Nicotine and smoking significantly increase your risk of developing osteoporosis. I also mentioned that she has COPD, and yes, that is likely because she is a smoker, but I mentioned that she uses inhalers, and many of the inhalers that's used to treat COPD have steroids, and steroid use is associated with increasing the risk of osteoporosis. And lastly, I mentioned that she had a hysterectomy with an oophorectomy at an early age, which also increases her risk of developing osteoporosis due to the estrogen deprivation. Other risk factors also include family history, white or Asian race, as well as a history of bariatric surgery. Untreated osteoporosis can lead to vertebral compression fractures, and someone that's had a vertebral compression fracture is now 10 times more likely to develop a second compression fracture. We can fix this through a procedure called a kyphoplasty, which is shown right here. Many of you guys did point out that the patient had some retropulsion where the bone was actually pushing back into the spinal canal, which is right here, and that's where all of our nerves travel. And many of you guys also pointed out that due to the retropulsion, a kyphoplasty may not be the best idea. I agree with that decision, and I decided to do something a little different in this patient. I actually did this procedure where I made a seven millimeter incision and placed a mesh bag into the bone. It sounds weird, but you can place this bag in through a tiny incision and then backfill it with bone and it expands. Now the beauty of that and what you can see in the before and after picture is that this was able to pull that retropulse bone back and the patient's spinal canal is now patent. Therefore, she didn't need any type of decompression or any screws to be placed because we already know that her bone is osteoporotic. So the likelihood of the screws actually staying in the bone long-term is pretty low. I also kept the patient in a back brace for about 12 weeks to help with the healing of the fracture. Most importantly, we discussed getting a bone density test so we can treat her osteoporosis with medications. Not only that, but we discussed nicotine cessation, which is incredibly important for her long-term bone health. The most important thing that young women can learn from this video is that your bone health is incredibly important and decisions that you make in your youth can affect your bone health in the future. Staying at a healthy body weight in addition to weight bearing exercise can significantly lower your risk of developing osteoporosis. Stay tuned next week and we'll go through another case.